Hello, everyone. It is me, MBT Beauty, aka The Walking Miracle. So, I did tell you guys that um, I was going to start letting you in on a little bit of my life and how I have to do things now that I've had to make a two handed world, a one handed world for me. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now. Well, actually, I'm driving. So, I teach myself during the day how to drive and sometime at night. Because at night, it's a lot easier. It's not as many cars on the road. But I still like to um, drive during the day, too. Because I got to eventually learn how to drive with um, being in traffic. So, I spend a lot of time in my car because I'm trying to get adapted back to a lot of things that... Um, I was used to doing and I still want to be independent in doing so I take the time out to um, teach myself reteach myself a lot of things and it's been coming along great like I drive everywhere now it's like at first I was scared I still haven't um, driven on the interstate yet um, I'm kind of scared too uh, <laughs> I'm scared to drive on the interstate but um, eventually, I'm going to start going at night and seeing how it is for me at night on the interstate. And if that works out, then I'll start driving during the day on the interstate. Um, these right here are um, marks from my injuries that I sustained. i um, still trying to figure out how to get rid of those. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, flaws make you beautiful in its own way you know what I mean um they also tell a story so I mean it is what it is so what I'm about to do is I'm about to go wash clothes okay and and, and y'all washing clothes is not an easy task for me because it takes me a lot longer than it would have taken me if I had both hands but being that I don't have both hands, guess what? I have to adapt, improvise, and overcome, which I have done. So, I'm on the way to get my cousin now because she's going to have to help me take the basket in. But once I get in, oh shoot, I left my fanny pack. I um, usually also wear a fanny pack so I can put my change in it and stuff like that. You know, so I've learned a few little things to help me get by once I'm in there. And I forgot it. So, hopefully my daughter left a fanny pack of hers in the car, which would be awesome. And that's just wishful thinking. But, yeah. I'm on the way to um, wash clothes. Like I say, it's, it's rough. But it has to be done. I'm still a woman and I still like my womanly duties. So I also just do it. You know what I'm saying? It's like once you do something repeatedly, I I find ways to make it easier for me. Um the only things that hey Chrome, the only thing that um really I haven't figured out yet is how to wash dishes and how to tie my head scarf on when I get my hair done um those are the two biggest things oh yeah and tie my shoes so those are the two biggest things that um the three I'm sorry the three biggest things that I have not conquered yet and if anybody know the people that know me know that it's driving me freaking crazy because I don't like to be defeated in any area so I'm back to the drawing board on that um tie my hair figuring out how to wash dishes and also um tie my shoes but um other than that you know I've adapted I've, I've, I've trained myself to adapt physically very well you know what I mean? And I'm still in the process of tra training myself how to adapt mentally well, you know, which I think I've been doing um, pretty good due to um, 
everything that I've been through and what all I went through last year, you know, I'm surprised I'm not somewhere in a straight jacket, but to God be the glory, you know, I'm still here. I'm still able to talk with my sound mind and body. Um, I'm still cute as a button. Uh, <laughs> it's just a lot of things that I have to be thankful for. And once I started realizing that, life became a lot easier. You know what I mean? Because I was so focused on what I didn't have, um, what happened, worried about what people was going to think, worried about what people were going to say. When all actuality, whether I lost my hand or not, people were going to have something to say. Um, that's just the world. You know what I mean? It's like, I got to learn the new me, you know, and everybody else that's around me, they're going to have to learn the new me too. And I've been blessed to have um, a lot of good people in my life. Um, shout out to Prophet. He's one of my good friends now. Um, we didn't know each other. He started out following me and he became a big blessing in my life. So again, I want to say thank you to him. And also again, thank you to my family for always being here and never letting me pout for too long. They'll tell me, okay, you got two days of pouting. You got five days to get here. So, thank you for that. My siblings, the few friends that I do have, the girls are awesome. They 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 not letting me have step at all. Um, make sure I get to my doctor's appointments. Drive me there if I need to be there. I love those chicks. Um, shout out to Kwanlika Dickerson, Naisha Strong. Um, if I, um, Kim Chi Coven, thank you guys for uplifting me every chance that you get and um, being by my side through this whole ordeal. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to, I guess you guys are starting to see my life now. Um, I'm going to let you guys in. Um, I think later on I'm going to cook. So, I love cooking, by the way. I'm going to think I'm going to um, do some cabbage, fried cabbage. Excuse the underarms, I didn't get to shave. Um, I think I'm going to do a fried cabbage. Uh, maybe some squash. I like squash. And I don't know what kind of meat yet, but I love cooking. Cooking... It's like um, music to the soul for me. I always cooked before I got shot. And um, everybody was always at my house for dinners, breakfast, stuff like that. So I just want to get that back. Um, cooking and doing everything that I love to do. Um, just anything that's going to be as close to my the normal that I'm looking for as possible. Um, also, you guys, I wanted to let you know that um, I do have a um, non-profit called the Golden Dream Foundation. Um, you can go to Facebook and find it. Um, on there, um, I donate clothing, food. Um, you can request um, donations for those. Every, that, that's free. Um, I also do a depression class that was every Wednesday but due to the, to the coronavirus. I do them via Messenger or um, FaceTime. So you can also go on there and um, make an appointment to talk with me personally to see how I beat depression, um, what you can do for depression and PTSD as well. Um, you can also go on there to sign up for my upcoming podcast, which is... Um, Tea and Talk True Crimes with me, um, where I'll have um, survive, um, some survivors on the show, um, some families of victims that weren't survivors. Um, also, being that I'm an amputee, I'm going to also dedicate um, a segment of the show to um, everybody that's an amputee, and I want to hear their stories about what happened to them, how did they become an amputee, how did they adapt to... So, on a Golden Dream Foundation, you can also go and um, request to be on the um, TN Talk Show or be in the audience of the TN Talk Show. So I'm very excited about this. I have a lot of upcoming projects that I would love for everybody to tune into and have your support. And also, um, I have an interview Thursday. 
with the awesome lady. Great, um, great show, which um, I was introduced to her by Lamont. And um, it airs Saturday. So I would be on Spotify, iTunes, um, Google. He named a whole bunch of other things, but my voice will be heard everywhere. So I'm now starting to tell my story and I'm still working on my documentary. But I'm also, uh, also, um, I don't touch too much on the subject because the case is still ongoing and we haven't been to court yet. And a lot of the photos that I want you guys to see and I just want you guys to understand what I went through. I want you to feel it. I want you to see what I look like when I got shot. I want, to, want you guys to see me going through what I went through at the hospital because I have pictures of me at the hospital, video recordings of me walk, trying to walk and things like that. So I do have a lot of things to share. I'm not going to just share it all at one time because, you know, it's still a touchy subject for me and um, I really don't know what all that I can and can't say being that it's the investigation is still going and we haven't been to court. But um, once we do, I will have the court trial. Um, footage of the court trial. I will have um, the crime scene photos. Um, I will walk you back through the house where I was. I just so happened I know the person that stays there now and they have no problem with me coming in and showing you guys the house and where I was standing and where um, kind of everything took place. So uh, just stay tuned and um, hit that subscribe button at the bottom and um, you hear more from Amputee Beauty. But please make sure you listen for my interview Saturday. Don't forget to check out my A Golden, A Golden Dream Foundation page on Facebook where you can go and request for clothing donations, food donations, um, to have one-on-one -on -one talking sessions with me and also to be in or in the audience on my upcoming um, podcast, TN Talk True Crime. So don't forget this. Be looking for me. Domestic violence is at an all-time high, especially now that the pandemic's in. Domestic violence, and we've been enclosed with each other. Ugh, the rate has went sky high. This is a subject that needs to be touched on and, and voices need to be heard. So I'm that voice, and I'm here to speak for um, survivors as well as non-survivors. So again, just stay tuned. I have more. Um, once I get to this wash rep, I'm going to set the camera up. And I'm going to show you guys how I manage to do things and wash clothes. So just give me a second and I'll get back on and you'll see how I do some things on a daily basis. Thank you guys and continue to keep up with me. And again, hit that subscribe button. Have a good day.